You want to get shaders in Minecraft 1.21.10, and we're going to show you how to do that in this video. Going over everything step by step, including getting the shader mod and getting shader packs. So if this video helps you out, be sure to like and subscribe. First thing we want to do is get Iris Shaders. This is linked down below and is the shader mod that actually allows shaders to work in Minecraft. Once you're here, click Download Iris to go to the official download page, where all you've got to do is click on this Download Universal Jar button. That will then go ahead and start the Iris Shaders download, right like so, or you may need to keep or save the file. We're also going to need Shader Packs. These are basically what actually adds the shading to Minecraft using Iris, and on top of that, there's a bunch of different ones. So that means you can get a brighter Shader Pack, you can get a more of a yellow tone to a Shader Pack, you can get more of a you know simple Shader Pack that doesn't even actually add in a lot of shaders, like Nostalgia Shaders or Vanilla Plus Shaders. For this video, let's go ahead and grab Complementary Shaders, and we will also grab the Makeup Ultra Fast Shader Pack here. These are two very popular shader packs. Curse Words, where you're going to be downloading a lot of shader packs, but Moderinth is also trusted. And when downloading them, just go to Files here and make sure you're getting that most recent version. Even if it's not for 1.21.10, most of the time it will still work. Now, while this is downloading, have a quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and of course use shaders on your server as well. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So if you want to play Minecraft 1.21.10 with your friends, do it the simple way at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, we will need to keep or save these files depending on our browser, but we can go ahead and do the same thing for complimentary, downloading that most recent version and then waiting a few seconds. Now with everything downloaded, we want to go ahead and minimize our browser and find that iris file we downloaded here, most likely in your downloads folder. Then go ahead and open this. Now, if this is a jar file, it's executable jar, it's got this icon, awesome. Right click, open with Java, and it will open like this. But if it's a zip file, if it's not the file that it should be here, and you can't open it with Java like I just did, right, right click and open with, you need to get Java 21 from the description down below. This guide goes over everything, but it's pretty simple. You just click download here, go to Windows, and then download this installer file, and then install Java just like any other program. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is gonna take the jar files like Iris and link them to Java after you have it, but you'll wanna get Java first then run the jar fix. At which point we can open up the Iris installer. Again, that was right click, open with Java, and it will open right like so. Make sure 1.21.10 is selected, click Iris and click install, and it will now install Iris shaders as well as sodium because both are required for Iris to work and we're good to go. We can close out of this and we can actually delete the Iris installer. I'm also gonna move these texture packs to our desktop, but that's not required. We're just gonna need to move them into Minecraft later in the video. From here, we just want to make sure that we select Iris and Sodium and then go ahead and click play and click play again. Now, Minecraft will open up with Iris installed. The hard part's over with, to be honest with you. All you've got to do now is move our shader packs in game. And once we are in game, just go to options, video settings, and then shader packs up here at the top. Drag and drop any shader packs you want to add into Minecraft right into this shader packs menu and they will automatically appear here. Go ahead and select the one you want. We'll start with complimentary. Click apply and it will take effect. You can change a bunch of stuff in the shader pack settings as well, by the way, including if you have a low end computer, you could actually run a potato version of this shader pack and actually be able to get decent performance. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and jump on to our simple game hosting server here. And once we do that, we will see that shaders are instantly active. You can see in-game, things are looking good. However, you can also change shader packs in-game. You just go ahead and go to options in-game, video settings, and shader packs. You can actually switch to like Makeup Ultra Fast in-game and kind of see some of the changes happen in the background automatically. So if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but you now know how to get shaders. And 1.21.10, we will see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.